you guys. A while back, a bunch of authors and publishers, people in the literary industry, were participating in this big fundraising event. There were a bunch of raffles and auctions and all of the money that you spent on all of these donated items was given to charity to help out people who are being affected by really, really terrible immigration policies right now. So I bid on one of the auctions and I won it. And the auction that I bid on was a box of mystery books. So I've been sent a bunch of books. I have absolutely no idea what they are. I thought it would be really fun because, I mean, I'm getting books. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a video unboxing these books that I have no idea what they are and all of the money I spent on it went to an amazing charity. So it's really like a win-win-win situation for everybody. I was emailing a little bit with the person who sent me these books. She told me there were three boxes. Today I received two boxes. I'm not sure if a third is coming or if she fit everything in two boxes after all. I don't really want to wait and find out, so I'm going to open these two boxes that I have. I guess we're just going to start out with uh, the first one here. Look at how big this is. The first one on this stack is City of Saints and Thieves. I'm struggling to think of what this is, but I know that I've seen this cover before, so like I know I've seen people talking about this book. This is about refugees who are coming to Kenya from Congo. This is so pretty. All right, we're off to a great start. Next one I have here is Felix YX. This is an arc. It says on the back here, I'm holding a copy of Felix's secret vlog. I think this looks like middle grade to me and it looks very like scientific. I think it's like a child prodigy of some sort is my guess. I'm not gonna spend too much time going over every single book because there's a lot of them in here. Ooh, the next book on here is Killers of the Flower Moon, The Osage Murders and the Birth of the FBI. I saw Roxanne talking about this on her channel. I kind of think she maybe didn't like this as much as she wanted to, but I was really intrigued when she was mentioning this book and it's been on my radar. This is a true crime nonfiction book. I've been kind of thinking about wanting to read this. So that's exciting. The next one maybe looks like, oh, we'll get to this in a second. Educated by Tara Westover. I was just thinking about this book because Barack Obama was talking about how he read this and he really liked it. This is a memoir. Also, it's a little dusty. Oh my God. Okay, I'm sorry. Out at the next book below these. This is very cool. Um, I didn't like this book, but what a cool like inclusion in this package because I know that this is so popular. In Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I probably will get rid of this book. I didn't really like it, but this will definitely find a really nice home with someone else. Although I am like slightly curious about what the second book would be like. If I were to continue on with the series, I might grow to like it. I'm just not sure if I actually would like it. It's so popular, um, so it's just like so nice that she included this in there. I'm sorry. Let's back up. Um, I'm just, I'm not gonna look in that box anymore. Um, this book, Educated. I've heard amazing things about it. I really, really want to read this book. I think it's about um, a girl who was homeschooled. Also, the cover is really cool. I always knew it was a pencil, but I didn't know that this is like a, this is like a mountainscape and there's a woman on there. It's so, so pretty. Okay, what is this book that I've neglected? It is The Boys in the Bunkhouse, Servitude and Salvation in the Heartland by Dan Barry. This is about a group of men who all have an intellectual disability and they're living together. And I'm not sure if this is, I think this is nonfiction. That sounds interesting. I've never heard of it before, so I'm not as excited, but I do think this sounds really, really interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna reach in and take out the next book blind. Oh, it's the second book. You know what? I own these two books now. I'm gonna read the second book. I'm gonna give it a shot. I might like the series better if I just give it a second chance. It has been decided for me. This is the second book in the, the Emma and the Ashes series. This next book has a cutout on the front. Oh, it's The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I love this book. This is such a good book. I don't own it. This is so nice. Oh my god, I have a copy of this book now. This book is amazing. It, it, I'm sure you've heard of it. It's just this lyrical fantasy novel about a circus. It's so good. Oh! Saints and Misfits. Okay. 
these are a little dusty. Um, I think it's just cardboard dust from the box. I have read this book as well. I quite liked it. I wouldn't say I absolutely love this, so I'm not 100% sure if I want to keep this or not. I really did like this book though, and I would recommend it because we have a Muslim protagonist, and I don't see that very often in YA Lit, and this book tackles rape culture. It does it very well. It's very powerful. It was really great. Moving on. I'm feeling... Uh-oh. I think this one got a little bit crumpled here, but that's okay. It is a play. It is The Crucible by Arthur Miller. I am not sure if I own this or not, maybe in one of my anthologies. I have read this before. I mean, it's a classic. It's a great play. Continuing on. I'm seeing Jodi Picoult, who I read one of her books a very long time ago, and I didn't like it. I read My Sister's Keeper, like, ages ago. I honestly don't even know if I finished it. I remember reading it when I was, like, very young, and I hated it. But I was very young at the time, so maybe I should give her another try. I just, like, never had good feelings toward her after really hating that book. Um, but this is called 19 Minutes. I've never heard of it. I don't really know what it's about. Interesting. Next up is, oh, The Sellout by Paul Beatty. This is the winner of the Man Booker Prize. I'm a little intimidated by this book, but I mean, I've heard really good things about it. Obviously, it won the Man Booker Prize. So, next is, oh, it's another Jodi Picoult book. We'll see about this. Um, it is Change of Heart. I'm not super excited about Jodi Picoult, so I'm not going to spend the time, like, reading the synopses of these right now. But I got another Jodi Picoult book. Next, oh, it's a Sarah Dessen book. Sarah Dessen is another author that I read one of her books a very long time ago, and I didn't like it, so I've always had, like, negative feelings toward her as an author. I have been thinking that I should give her another chance because a lot of people that I have similar tastes with really, really do like Sarah Dessen, and I think that I'm at an age where I can understand her books a little bit better than I did when I was very young, so. Next we have, oh god, it's another Jodi Picoult book. I guess, you know, okay, this just means I need to, like, read a Jodi Picoult book and just see how my tastes have changed, because obviously I have a different mind than I did when I was very young, so. This is The Pact. It does say a love story, which doesn't super appeal to me, but I'm gonna let myself read a Jodi Picoult book, I think, before I decide to get rid of all of these. And we'll see how that goes. Oh, this one got a little bit crumpled as well. That's okay. I've never heard of this book before. It says The Rooster's Garden by Olivia A. Cole. Oh, it says part two of the Tasha trilogy. So I'm probably not gonna look at what this is right now because I don't want to spoil myself for the first book. I've never heard of this, but I do like the cover. Oh! Ooh. Okay, I picked up two at once. Um, first off, we have The Girls by Emma Klein. Super, super buzzy book. This is about a cult, and I've heard very polarizing things about it, but it's something that I probably need to try out. Very cool. Oh, next up is a book by Kwame Alexander, who I have read once before. This is The Crossover. The book I read by him before was Inverse, and this looks like it is as well, which I really enjoy. This will be... I think a super quick, easy read. Probably is like middle grade or young adult fiction. It looks like it's about basketball, which doesn't appeal to me that much, but um, I definitely will read this and probably like it. There is one more book in this box. It is, oh, it is part one of the Tasha trilogy. So I do have the first and second book now. Let's look at this, Panther in the Hive. I've absolutely never heard of this before. A coming of age story. Oh God, Cybertronic Disaster citizens turned weapons. So this is looking like a sci-fi kind of dystopian sort of thing. That was that box. Now we're moving on to this one, which is slightly smaller. Okay, this is another arc. No One Here is Lonely by Sarah Everett. This is looking like a young adult contemporary involving a friend who has died, and I really like that setup. I love heartfelt, like, emotional contemporaries like this, so probably will like this one. Next we have The Gauntlet by Karuna Riazi. This is middle grade, like, sci-fi fantasy. I have been wanting to read this book. This looks so good. Ugh, 
Look at this. This looks so good. What is this? Ruby Carp. Earth Hates Me, True Confessions from a Teenage Girl. Amy Poehler has blurbed it. Oh, here she is. Am I supposed to know who this is? Is she famous? I, I don't know. Oh my god, I'm like doing what she's doing. I didn't even mean to do that. She is a 16 year old feminist, comedian, journalist. I guess she, oh, has like worked with Amy Poehler. I've never heard of her. This looks like it's not really geared toward me, but this does look like a good book. Next up is a pretty big hard. Oh my god. I love this book. I'm so happy. Oh my god. I have been wanting to own a copy of this book and I just have never found one. This is one of the greatest books I've ever read. It is so good. I love it so much. It's The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey. This is a dystopian, very gritty, very dark. It is incredible. And now I own my own copy. And I've been wanting to ever since I read it. Ugh. Oh, I think I know what the next one is. I think I see I see the edge of it. I'm pretty sure it's that Sean David Hutchinson book. Yeah. I just saw the, the feet and I recognized it. Oh my god, this book is way bigger than I was expecting it to be. Yasmin is the biggest Sean David Hutchinson fan I have wanted to read his books for a while now. I probably will get on this pretty soon. This is very much on my alley. I think he writes um, a lot of young adult contemporary stories. I think he has a lot of queer characters in his books and I'm pretty sure some of his books also have like a sci-fi twist. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love him as an author. Next is... I can't even see it in the... Oh, a graphic novel! Oh my god! Oh. The Cardboard Kingdom by Chad Sell. I've never heard of this. It looks like a middle grade graphic novel. It's so bright and colorful. This looks like a very fun, goofy adventure story. I will for sure enjoy this. I've never heard of it before. That's so cool. I'm sorry, I'm like creeping on the next book. It's by Elizabeth Wine. I don't know who that is. The Pearl Thief. This is an arc. It says, oh my, oh. It's the prequel to Codename Verity, which I've heard the most amazing things about, and I have been wanting to read that book for a very long time. That book, I think, is about, like, spies during World War II, and I've just heard it's really, really good, so here I did not know there was a prequel. Next one is a huge hardback. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gemini. This is this is a sequel to Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, uh, which is like these books are told in like files and found documents. It is a sci-fi series and I I really really need to read it. Every time I actually go to the bookstore I pick up Illuminae and I look at it and I think about buying it. I'm so happy that I own this because it's a book that you really want to be able to like see as you're reading it. I have heard also that the audiobooks are amazing but I think that I would want to do kind of the audiobook and then like concurrently look at the images as well. So I'm so happy that I own this. I need to get my hands on a copy of Illuminae now and like read this series. It's gonna be amazing. Ooh, next is an arc of Shadow House Fall um, by Daniel Jose Older. This is the sequel to Shadow Shaper, which I have read. Um, there's a cover of that one. I'm not a huge fan of owning arcs, honestly, so I'm not sure if I want to keep this. Next up, oh, next up is Just Kids by Patti Smith. This is a memoir. I've heard really, really good things about Patti Smith as an author. She's a musician. I know that Max from Well Done Books has really enjoyed her books. And so I have been wanting to read this. Johnny Depp blurbed it, which we can move along from that. Oh, that was heavier than I was expecting. Oh my god, it's her purple apple god. It's her purple apple god. Mm. My apologies. It is Hyperbole and a Half by Allie Brosh. This is the graphic novel version of her web blog, which I have followed for years. If you don't know who she is, oh my goodness, she makes these 
hilarious comics online. They are so funny. She talks about depression in the most realistic and funny but never making fun of it or diminishing it sort of way. <sighs> the only reason I don't own this is because it is expensive. Like the list price on here is $28 which is just a lot to spend on a single book. I am so happy right now. <laughs> okay. Next up we have The Magic Words, Writing Great Books for Children and Young Adults by Cheryl B. Klein, which is honestly something that I need because my writing is a mess, but it's something I need to work on. I will give this a look-see. Negroland by Margot Jefferson. I tried to read this once and I didn't get into it, but I didn't get very far. Like I read like the first chapter and wasn't feeling it at the time, but this is a book that has been on my radar for a very long time. It is a memoir. I have been meaning to get back to it and give it a try. A lot of these pages are dog-eared and I need to fix that right now. Antisocial by Jillian Blake. This is an arc. It says one hack every secret exposed looks like YA. That's gonna be super twisty, fast paced. I bet this is gonna be um, mega entertaining. Maybe not that great. <laughs> That's just my general impression, but cool. I think there's like two more books. You guys. How, how, how does this land in my lap? Um, hey, my battery actually died, so it's much later. I'm pretty sure I was in the midst of freaking out about this because I'm a nerd, but there's literally just one left. So I haven't looked at it yet. This is perfect. This is Salt of the Sea by Ruta Sepetis, which I have read. I really liked this book, but I've actually been searching for a copy of it, not for myself, but to give to my mom, because I really think my mom is gonna like this book. And I've been looking for a copy so that she can read it. This is so perfect. I cannot wait to give this to her. This is a book about World War II. That was the last one. I'm much more calm now. If I end up getting a third box, um, honestly, like, that, my mind is gonna be blown because this is already, like, exceeded well beyond any expectations that I had. I will include that and, um, do a whole another one of these uh, with that third box if it happens. Update! The third box has arrived. It came, like, a week later than the other two. I have no idea why, but Holy crap, you guys, I have another box of books in this amazing journey. Oh, I wanted to quickly mention, I, I looked at the footage of that I filmed earlier and I didn't really get to talk about the last book that got cut off. This is Life is Like a Musical by Tim Fetterly, and it's, I think, kind of just like cute little nonfiction chapters relating stuff about musical theater to real life things and I freaked out because musical theater. That is my brand, that is my life. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this third box of books. Oh my goodness, it is Flying Lessons and Other Stories, uh, edited by Ellen O. Oh. I read this book and it is a really sweet book of short stories that is just very focused on the own voices movement and it is uplifting some really amazing authors and it's just really good diverse middle grade fiction. This was a really good collection. Oh my gosh, it's in such nice condition. This is so cool that I have this. Next up is, oh, it's Legend by Marie Lu. I have read this as well. I quite like this series. This is a young adult dystopian that I had a good time with. Really interesting that the text for one of the characters is in a different color than the other one. The only um like book I've ever seen do different colored text in, I think, is the Shiver Trilogy by Maggie Stiefvater. Cool. Next up, I don't know what this is, but the back of it is already so pretty. <gasps> oh, ooh, ooh, this is like brand new. I can 
cannot put my finger on what this book is, but I know I've seen this cover before. This is so pretty. This is Beast by Bree Spangler. Something about this just makes me guess it's a fairy tale retelling. I don't know. It's uh, blurbed by Meredith Russo. Next we have an arc of, oh my gosh, this is full of bookmarks. Fans of the Impossible Life by Kate Salsa. I've never heard of this, but this looks like YA contemporaries. We have gay representation in here and it's about friendship and a prep school. Uh, I'm into it. Next up is an Oh my goodness, it's an arc of A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston. I love E.K. Johnston. I definitely am planning to read this book. I love it. I did mention I don't love arcs. At least this like looks like the final copy. Um, arcs that like don't even have the final cover I really don't like. But I definitely do want to read this and then maybe find myself a finished version of it. Next is another arc. It is Cut Both Ways by Carrie Mesrobian. Never heard of it, but this is giving me more YA contemporary vibes. <gasps> and queer representation. Ooh, this looks good. This kind of looks like it's about a guy discovering the fact that he's bisexual. All right, next we have Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. I have never seen this before, but I really, really like this cover. Ooh, this looks like it's uh, kind of a ghost story and it's blending like historical fiction and modern day stuff so like contemporary with a paranormal twist and it takes place in paris oh yes yes i am very intrigued by this oh my gosh i cannot get to this okay the next one is oh it is uh prodigy this is another book in the legend trilogy i've read this as well i've read the whole series it's it's a really fun series. Is this, yes, it is. It is Champion. I have the whole series now. It's so nice. I like really, really like owning entire series. They just like look so nice on my bookshelves. That makes me really happy. And they, they all these books have different colors um, in the text. It's just like the Shiver Trilogy. I love it. And I never would have known that because I listened to them on audio. Oh, I have read this book. I've never seen this cover. I'm not sure if this is supposed to have a dust jacket or not, but it is a really nice cover without it. It's hardback, it has sprayed edges. I love that. This is um, My True Love Gave to Me, 12 Winter Romances, edited by Stephanie Perkins. I didn't particularly like this, so I probably won't be keeping this, but, but it is very, very cute. Next up is, ooh, this is an arc of When We Collided by Emery Lord. I've heard really good things about Emery Lord. She writes YA contemporaries, and I've heard from a lot of people that she's like some people's favorite YA contemporary author, so I definitely have been wanting to read her for a while now. I think that this book centers around mental illness of some kind. I'm not totally sure. Next. Oh! I think this is a book I've heard very mixed things about. It is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. This is an arc as well. This is also a YA contemporary that a lot of people I know are absolutely in love with. It's about twins. I think one of them is gay. And I think this also involves mental illness. If I have um, any arc collectors who watch my channel that like really love owning arcs and want any of the arcs of these books, maybe let me know because I'm um, open to parting with any of the arcs if for someone who really wants them because I don't personally like owning arcs unless it's um a really really specific book or author that I love okay the last thing in here is in a plastic bag it's codename Verity the prequel to this was in one of the earlier boxes and I mentioned that I've heard really really good things about this book I've been wanting to read this for a very long time okay that is truly it I have now gotten all three boxes that were sent to me. This was incredible. Thank you so much to Cameron who sent these to me. Yeah, that's it. I'm in love with all of these and let me know your thoughts on any of these books if you read them. Okay, that is it. I'm so, so happy and I'm so happy that I was able to support charity in order to get this and that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you and bye.